Hey there, I'm Mike Moore. Uh, I've got this thing for flamethrowers. I like the way they look and the way they sound. And I know they're just machine guns with a huge spread and different bullet animation, but uh, I don't know what it is. I just like using them. And I really like using them on big groups of enemies. However, one thing I really don't enjoy is heavy weapons. The flamer in Fallout, not just Fallout 4, but every Fallout game, has always been pretty lackluster for me. I don't enjoy heavy weapons in general in Fallout, so I took the logical next step towards fixing that, enter the Assault Flamer. I wasn't exactly sure what to name this gun at first, I was kinda on the fence between Flamer Rifle and Assault Flamer and like Tactical Flamethrower or some nerdy name like that, but I put a poll up on Twitter and apparently everybody likes Assault Flamer, so that is the name we're going with. Before we get into the fun stuff, let's go over the technical things. The Assault Flamer fires slightly slower than normal Flamer, having a fire rate of 59 as opposed to the Flamer's 90, and it starts with 19 damage, which is a lot higher than the Flamer, but it's still lower than a lot of guns that you use. It sounds tiny, but trust me, it, it does work. And you can do that work with your choice of three elemental damages. The Assault Flamer has a fire clip, which you know, lets you shoot fire. And you can choose to use Cryo, which switches the ammo to the same as the Cryolator, it uses Cryo cells, and it does pure ice damage. And lastly, you get the option to use Poison. Poison is really situational, as it technically does more damage than the other two, but it's like really ineffective on some enemies like ghouls or rad scorpions. So if you see yourself plowing through some raiders in the future, Poison works great, but if you're out to kill Deathclaws, maybe, maybe stick to ice. However, on the topic of arthropods, the Assault Flamer is a fantastic bug killer. No more needing to vats those pesky bloatflies, just burn them. Blood bugs got you down, just freeze them in midair. It works great! Actually, while I'm thinking about it, before I made this weapon, I had never used the Cryolator before, with the exception of trying to... With the exception of trying it out and hating it and promptly throwing it in a box and never touching it again, have you looked at the Cryolator projectile? It doesn't even look like ice or dry ice or, or liquid nitrate or whatever it's supposed to be. It looks really fucking warm. Look at the- it looks like the steam from the Centurions and Skyrim that they would shoot at you? Wait, is, is it the Centurions steam from Skyrim? Hold on, no, I can't. It's ice. There's no- it's the it's the Centurion's team. What? God damn it! But they had the they had the assets. Why didn't they just take the ice spell animations? It was right there. Why did no no God, no I'm fucking I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm taking a shower. <laughs> Okay, alright, I'm better now. So from here on out, I'm just gonna ramble for a bit and show you some gameplay. So if you were just interested in the basics, I won't be offended if you leave now. As for the rest of you, have fun listening to me talking about burning things. So before I get off topic, yes I know, I'm sort of known as the crazy melee guy on the Nexus, and that's no secret, and it wasn't my intention when I first started making mods for Fallout 4, but the fact of the matter is... Melee weapons are just, as a rule, easier to make than guns are. Knives and swords are basically really long, skinny trapezoids, so you don't really have to worry about the third dimension, the, the depth of the sword or knife. With guns, there's like details in every single direction, so it's a whole other beast. Uh, you, you basically just have to worry about like the flat face on a knife and make sure that looks nice. You don't have to worry about the edge of the blade, because as long as it doesn't look like plastic, it's fine. So before I finished with the Assault Flamer, I had eight other attempts at guns trying to wrap my head around doing this because it was so different, right? Like, worrying about the third dimension is weird for me. Well, I know it may disappoint some of you thinking that it takes me a long time to get things finished and some of you are thinking like, meh, you should have just posted the other guns, I'm sure they were fine. <laughs> but it's like, it's not even that they were bad, which they were, they were really bad. It's that I'm not making these weapons only to get something out into the game and then move on to the next. I'm making these weapons so they have like a long-term place in your and my games. I don't want the weapons to be the one that you pass by and think, oh, there's that plasma pistol I installed a while ago. I want to look at the gun and think like, oh, that's that's worth putting up on a weapon rack, or that's worth killing people with once in a while. Like, that's... I, I just want to be happy about what I've made, not just like, oh, there's that one thing. It's it's not that I'm a perfectionist or I'm trying to say I have 
OCD or any bullshit excuse like that. It's just quality over quantity, you know? You, you've got to have standards. Shit's important. To build off that point, I will be making more guns. I have a lot of cool ideas and I'm actually like super excited to start working on things. I want to make like some kind of like heavy Spartan laser kind of weapon and I want to make a plasma pistol and uh, I'm assuming it's not going to take like nine tries this time to get what I want and yes, once I have a decent number of guns, I will be putting them into a pack like MCAM, just like my melee weapons. And there's a couple more melee weapons I want to make. And some of you crazies that have been following me from the beginning may be happy to hear that I am going to start reworking the Dedeo. I know it's been the butt of a few jokes in some of my videos, but hopefully we can move past that. Uh, in other news, I've started drafting up a little character that I can use to convey my speech in Blender, so it's not just like me talking over some gameplay. That way you can put a name or a face or at least a character to my name, or my voice anyway. And I don't have to- I don't have anything along those lines to show you yet, but expect something really basic in the next video, and I'm gonna be rendering some photos of him and use them in a stop motion style, kinda like CGP Grey does or I hate everything do in their videos. If you want to see the progress on that or you just want to see what else I'm making or you want to make sure I'm not dead, you can go ahead and send me a message on Twitter or follow me on Twitter and see what's going on there. And you can see that in the description of the video. Other than that, I'd like to thank Cast Iron Wolf, Nomad War Machine, and Sundre Sembo for supporting me on Patreon. And don't worry, Sundre, the Gravity Fist is coming next MCAM update. And I'd like to thank you, Mr. or Mrs. Viewer, for sticking around. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. Now it's time for me to leave for real this time, so you have a phenomenal rest of your day. And I'll be seeing you hopefully next week because I'm going to try and upload a video once a week instead of once every week and a half. So look forward to that. Okay, bye! What the fuck? What's, what's going on here? What the fuck? Is this shit? What? 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 What?